If you are a Boston sports fan, Jerry Callahan is someone you know. Love him or hate him, and most people are in one category or the other. You know who he is, and you know what he stands for. And what Jerry stands for, above all else, is free speech. As long as you're willing to roll up your sleeves, invest some passion in it, and get in a good old-fashioned debate. And even though he's no longer on WEI every morning, Jerry Callahan still loves a good fight. I would yell at the radio. I'd call and yell at you. I like to fight. Jerry Callahan has always liked to fight. He's just a disgusting human being, little troll. Ugh. Callahan has been covering Boston sports since 1983, first starting at the Lowell Sun. Six years later, he joined the Boston Herald. And then for a five-year period from 1994 to 99, he wrote nationally for Sports Illustrated. Also in 97, Jerry joined WEEI All Sports Radio and was hired, along with former Boston TV sportscaster John Dennis, to co-host the Dennis and Callahan Show. And everything was fair game. I look back at things that I said, and we said, Dino and I did, I mean, or Howard Stern did, or Imus did, and you couldn't do it today. The D and C show had a 16-year run, and Jerry and John became part of the morning routine of many New Englanders. Then, in 2013, Kirk Minahan joined the show. That trio lasted for five years before John Dennis was on his way out, and Kirk and Callahan became the new show, which soon became less about sports and more about current events and hot-button issues. Politics, race, gender, no subjects were off limits to K and C, who were brash and controversial, which eventually led to Minahan leaving the show, and less than a year later, Callahan being let go by WEEI. Jerry explains why. I got run out of, run out of radio by a... Uh a uh, very effective liberal activist who harassed the station, forced Kirk Minahan out, and then later me. They were losing so much money, he was harassing all our advertisers. National advertisers were canceling as a result, and uh, in July they said, you know, we're, we've lost eight million bucks, we gotta do something else. How did you feel when that happened, Jerry? I, I shouldn't say I was surprised, because, you know, they were, did not ever really have our back. And we wanted to fight back. We wanted to go back at the guy. We wanted to challenge him, and the station did not. So last July, Jerry was out of a job. That was a good time to get fired. Why? Because I had the rest of the summer off. <laughs> that was good. If that happened in the winter, I'd have been really pissed. So take us from there to here. How'd this happen? What happened was the Jerry Callahan podcast. The punishment for John Henry has to be more than four picks and five million. It has to be. Six months in the making and launched with a bang this January. The very first day that we put on an episode, it was number one on Apple's top shows. I think we're at the ground floor, and I think it's gonna it's gonna go up and up and up. And you know, Jerry has timed it perfectly. Numbers and money will ultimately decide how perfect the timing is, but Callahan certainly doesn't miss what talk radio has become without him. Everybody now in talk radio, everyone's playing scared. Everybody's nervous about being the next guy to say the wrong thing or piss off the wrong person. It's not the same. There's there's not that freewheeling conversation. So if I'm coming back to find Jerry Callahan now on the Jerry Callahan podcast, what am I going to hear? Is it a different Jerry Callahan? We are doing you know, politics, sports, and revenge. Because they're corrupt. Because they're on the take. Joe right. Biden is corrupt. His son is an absolute thief. Sports. I still think Ortiz could be the first steroid guy. And, and the, oh, the other guy. Jerry, he's, it's, he'll get, he'll get 80, 90 percent, I think. What do you think happens with Brady? I think he leaves. It comes down to this. This is where it becomes clear to me is, what does Belichick want? I think this is Belichick's call. We know he wanted to move on from Brady a couple of years ago when he had Garoppolo. I think he sees not a great future in a 43-year-old quarterback, and he says, what's the future in that? Maybe it makes the Crafts happy or the fans happy, but Belichick doesn't care about that. I think the Patriots move on. I mean, I think what I do is what everybody does in their life when they talk to their friends, when they talk about issues, you know? We, sometimes we yell about it, sometimes we get, we get pissed off, but you know, and sometimes we laugh about it. Jerry's a very black and white guy and he likes to give his opinion and he's, he's, he doesn't like to deal with all the other, you know, candy coating some stuff. He's just very honest and very truthful up front. I think Jerry had the best radio career in the history of Boston because he said things that people in this city I think are afraid to say. He has the ability, I think he has the personality, I think he has the intelligence to talk about 
politics, sports, and revenge, but do it with with more than just a Boston audience. Why should I tune into the Jerry Callahan podcast? It's as simple as this. We get to tell the truth. You know, it's not, there's no one telling us what to say. This is the Jerry Callahan podcast. We will talk to you again tomorrow. Okay, first reaction, because this will get reaction and comments on our social media feeds. Some people are going to say, well, what's Butch doing Jerry's bidding for? Why are you giving him a spot there to promote his I'll podcast? You, I'll give you two reasons. One, I've always been a Jerry fan. I've been a friend for a long time, so I'm not going to make any bones about that. But I think Jerry is the classic Howard Stern when he was at his best. Mm. You can hate him if you want, but you still wanted to listen to him. Yeah, I think that's true. And I think that there are a lot of people who are either in one camp or the other. You right. referenced that in your lead-in. And I couldn't get over the fact, you went and talked to him on the day I think Alex Cora got fired. Yes. And we aired something on our news, and oh my gosh, the reaction he gets he get either vitriol or like great to hear from Jerry I don't I couldn't even live as that kind of person you know I'm one of those I would like more people to like me but he doesn't care Jerry thrives on that and he's maintained that status. He's not number one still, but he's been in the top ten of Apple's podcasts for a month now. Good stuff. Thanks, Butch. 